Last year, I debuted the Kent Truvel. With the Truvel, Kent entered the modern spec tapered head tube mountain bike market, and they did so in a big way. It's impressive that a bike like this could come out in 2022 for under $400, and it's no wonder that it has legions of fans. I know because I'm one of them, and in my review, I said there were really only two things I feel could make it even better for the price. Number one, I mentioned that it has no support for an internally routed dropper post cable. A shame, since it's so close, there's an internal cable routing already and even an opening down at the bottom bracket. If only they had bored that one extra hole. Not a deal breaker, but something I noted. For the second thing, I'm going to revert back to my original review as I said it then. Walmart states sized frames for this bike, and I'm told that those are coming. But for now, it's only available in medium. Yep, one size, a medium, and a smallish medium at that at 16 inches. Now, they did equip it with a long seat post to help fit a wider range of riders. But sized frames, that's the final benchmark for making it to the highest echelon of budget mountain bikes at Walmart. This is where things get interesting because I've had countless people tell me they bought a new Truvail and it was dropper ready. And I'm not talking one or two, I mean dozens and dozens. All saying they bought the bike off the Walmart rack and it had a dropper cable port. And since the first report, I've been checking my local Walmarts and every single one has Truvails, which in itself is a miracle, but they're all just standard Truvails like mine. No dropper port provisions. And then another true veil appeared, and the Walmart associate told me it was identical to the one that was lower, but I knew something was different. The frame looked larger. It's the Walmart website that tells the true story. If I search for the Kent true veil, I see two listings. Walmart sometimes duplicates listings, so that in itself isn't unique. What is unique is that one listing shows the medium frame, the same bike that I have. The other, look at this large same price same features same specs but large frame the manufacturer part numbers those are different too 22 910 for the large the medium 12 904 which is the 16 inch frame that i have so if the medium is 16 inches what size is the large and is there a way to notice the difference without measuring kent made that part easy there's a sticker on the seat tube of the large frame that shows not only is it a large but the size of that frame it's 18 inches. And there's more. That large frame beside the sticker that shows the manufacturer part number 22910. See that black port? That is the dropper ready cable port that many subscribers have been telling me is on their new Truvail. They also updated the down tube internal routing port so it can accommodate the extra cable. Yes, it does look like someone at the factory just used a Dremel to open up the existing port, but whatever works. So a cable would come in here, out here, and then up through that new port to the dropper. And of course, BYOD, bring your own dropper. Adding the dropper port and having sized frames, that covers both of the items from my review and moves this to an entirely new level, especially given the price. So far, I have only seen the dropper port on the large frame. I have seen lots of mediums, but they've all been without the port. I suspect they're just leftover inventory and newer shipments will be dropper ready, just like the large. Other components look to be all identical between the two bikes, so same great bike, just better now. If you've recently purchased a medium Truvail, comment below. Let me know, did it come dropper ready or no? Also, if you do have the dropper port and the large frame, did you know you were buying the larger sized frame or did you think it was just still the one available size? That's today's Truvail breaking news. Comment below and share your thoughts on this expanding Truvail offering. No word on a small frame yet. I'll keep my eyes open for that. Now let me hear your thoughts. And thank you for watching Kev Central. Have a great day.